<clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm well, too. Nice um, fade out. <clears throat> thank you. Oh, you know, when you wake up really, really early in the morning, like I tend to do, you make a mistake of thinking, oh, I've got hours and hours before daily dose. And then pretty soon, it's daily dose. So I feel every morning like about the first three hours of my day are very calm, and then the last six minutes leading up to this are a complete flurry. So I probably need to figure out how to de-flurry that a little, maybe start getting ready a little bit earlier. Let me just shut that off, see if that helps. There we go. Okay, it's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Uh, in a normal world, this would kind of be maybe the last day of people's full work days because people would be starting to travel tomorrow. Again, I will just say, you should not be traveling. I hope that you are not traveling. I'm trying not to be judgy, but boy, we should not be traveling, any of us. So that's just my two cents worth. Uh, do you want to weigh in on that biochemist? As the only one of the two of us who actually knows anything about this? <laughs> Good qualifier. Um, I just watched the news this morning and there was, they were interviewing random people at an airport and one of them said that it doesn't bother them traveling because they've already had a doubt about of COVID. And then this individual said, so if I get it again, it won't matter, which isn't actually true. Well, how would anyone know that? That would be my point. I mean, we've only had it as a thing for eight months. It is a novel virus that um, every medical expert has said, you know, this is new. We don't really know anything about it. So whoever you were in whatever airport you are, I think you've made a huge mistake. Yeah. It is safer to just stay where you are. It's not, I did check this one too. It's not, un, it's not against the constitution, actually. <laughs> to have I, to stay I looked at, I did, in place. I did actually look it up. <laughs> it is not infringing on your civil liberties. It is not um, part of the first amendment, which gives you the right to, to to, to, to um, form crowds in protest that was against red coats with muskets. It's kind of different. Okay, before we fall down into the founding parents <laughs> rabbit hole, let's go another, uh, another line of uh, heavily male featured but still beautiful tack. So this is a piece that my friend Megan Mueller Jensen posts every year. I love it. Uh, we read it now at Thanksgiving and I'm sharing it with you today because I think it is so lovely. It's from 1979 from the Chicago Tribune by a woman named Joan Beck and it's called Thanks Be. So I'm gonna read it and then I'll share it on the posts in case you wanna use it at Thanksgiving. Guess what? you could read it to someone important to you over Zoom. You don't have to be with them in person. So, Thanks Be by Joan Beck. As we gather together to count the Lord's blessings during this Thanksgiving season, it is not amiss, despite the sea of Middle East troubles and economic troubles at home, to be thankful for harvests and harbors and harpists and hearths, for heart surgery, harmonicas, harp seals, and health. No Thanksgiving ever celebrated a world without care. Thanksgiving. We are grateful, God of our fathers, for silicon chips and shaloms, for slaloms and salads and salmon and sails, for Shakespeare and shallots and school, for the roller skate revival and punk rock's wane, for blue jeans that fade and dreams that don't. We thank thee, Lord. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, we voice our praise for progress and proms and promotions, for prosciutto and prologues and Proust, for a Pope who is Polish and jokes that are not, for your baby's just perfect, and the surgery was a success, and you're hired, we thank thee. God of grace and glory for elections and electricity, for elephants and Einstein, for elegies, Edison and Elms, we offer thanks this season, and for debates, and rebates for tax revolt and green revolution for God so loved the world and when in the course of human events and they lived happily ever after and boy the way Glenn Miller played. Mm -hmm. Our Father's God to thee, author of liberty, 
we offer thanks for the red shift and once in a blue moons, for yellow submarines and purple mountain majesties, for intermezzos and interns, blood banks and butterflies, atoms and ants and the ancient assurance that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Our thankful praise, Lord, for weddings and waffles and winks and walks. So too, solar heat and lemon soul, anything chocolate and everything without calories. For homes and homecomings, for Christmas and crayons, for fleece and flamingos and flags, we are truly grateful. Lord of all, to thee we raise our thanksgiving praise for healing beyond hurt, for love beyond measure, for life beyond life, and mysteries beyond comprehending. But most of all, we are grateful that neither death, nor life, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God. So again, it's a little patrilineal, lots of God of our fathers and that kind of thing, but the sentiment is really lovely. And I have at times when I've read it out loud, uh, gender neutralized it, which still keeps the sentiment and makes it a little less uh, women to the back, please, which I don't really care for. But I love it. I love it so much. So I thank Megan every year for posting it, for providing it. And I have now started making it part of our habit too. And I think the most important thing for today is no matter what state you and yours are in, there is something to be thankful for. Something. And I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's individual to all of us. But I will tell you what I'm thankful for today. I was thinking about this this morning. I'm so thankful for you that you said yes to this. That I came at you with this funny little idea and you said yes because you would not have had to. Mm. Because it's not in your comfort zone. It is not. And because a lot of it asks you to reveal things that are vulnerable and sometimes shameful and sometimes difficult. Well, that's that's the part of that's the part of it that I said yes to because of that. That sentence yeah. was almost in the correct order. <laughs> um, it's important to, to to strive through sobriety by. You know, you have to admit your failings. We, and we talk about it in AA, it, admitting your failings and not not really being ashamed of them, learning from them, but don't, don't be ashamed of them. It's true. There isn't one person on this planet who's perfect. And I agree with my brother-in-law who once said he, was, he doubted that there wasn't a single person on this planet that, needed, that didn't need therapy. Oh, that would be my brother, yes? Yeah, okay. Yes, your brother. Yes. All right. My brother-in-law, my wife's side. <laughs> um, thank you for that, Evan. That was a, actually, that was a really profound thing to say because I think you were spot on. Well, as I like to say, we all need to overcome our childhoods, even the good ones. Uh, you know, growing up is not for the faint of heart. So, um, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm just, I'm thankful every day for you and the life that we have. I'm thankful for this little community that we're building through Daily Dose. Um, I would miss this if, if it didn't happen. And I hope that you feel the same way too. Yeah. I mean, you know, be thankful right now. I'm gonna to be topical here for a sec. Be thankful right now that you can breathe unaided and, you know, reduce your risk of contracting the disease that's labeled COVID-19. Yeah. Yes, some people are very lucky and feel bad for a day. A lot of other people um, end up in a hospital and, you know, there is an increasing death rate. Don't be one of these idiots that look at the death rate ratio and goes, well, it can't be that bad. Um, yeah, you know, death is kind of the same. <laughs> death is death. It's kind of <laughs> the end of the line. Yeah. Well, and I think if you have anyone in your life that you're thankful for who is older than 70, who is um, has immune challenges? Yeah, a cancer survivor. You know? Yeah, I mean, who who has been through serious health crises? Who um, you know is is a frontline worker? If any of those people live in your life, you owe it to them to not only express to them um, your gratitude for them, but also to be as safe and as careful as you possibly can. 
Wow, we watched a thing. I guess it was online on the BBC yesterday. They went to Grafton, North Dakota, North yeah. Dakota, to talk to the um, hospital staff who last night we heard have reached their maximum capacity. It was heartbreaking. That's not what doctors and nurses go into rural health care for. Um, we, we have an obligation to look beyond the end of our nose. You might be fine, but somebody else might not be. There are more COVID-19 active cases in North Dakota, to, well, yesterday, than there are, or there were yesterday, in the state of California. That's not okay. But, you know, California, they actually, you know, wear masks. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you are, if you are working in the hospital or any medical environment this weekend, thank you yes, for that. Yes, thank you. I know you don't have a lot of choice, um, but we appreciate the work that you're doing, whether we need you personally or not. But and not me personally, but I did help somehow over the last 15 years of shuffle people away from graduating from MSUM into the medical facilities. So thank you all for that. Stay healthy. Yeah. So that's that. We'll post this on, on today's um, link. And obviously, you're free to use it as you find it interesting. But I hope that you found something to be grateful for out of it. And I hope that it spurs you to maybe make your own list of seemingly random, often alliterative things to be thankful for. We are, despite everything, in very, very fortunate positions, almost all of us, so. And it's not too silly or too small, it's what you're personally thankful for, it could be anything. Yeah, yep, gratitude is never wasted, no. and it's never lost on something it's insignificant. It's lost if you never say it to someone. Yeah, have an excellent Tuesday. I will also post later today the ingredients that you need to cook with us tomorrow. Oh, We're not yes. really cooking, we'll, but uh, we'll to- be live from the kitchen tomorrow. Yes, how exciting. So we'll see you tomorrow. Have an excellent Tuesday. Bye. Bye.